as I serve St. Agnes Parish. I am struck by the beauty of this holy place, by the beauty of its altar, of its liturgies, English and Latin, by the beauty of its mosaics, of its stained glass windows. Everything speaks of beauty at St. Agnes, speaks of holiness, speaks of healing, speaks of God's presence in the midst of his people. As we conclude our centennial celebration this year, I am thrilled to announce the beginning of our capital campaign on the feast day of Christ the King with our parish motto, Trust in the Lord. To trust in God, the Father, to trust in His providential love and care is our ultimate goal and the core of our parish mission, inspired by the spirit of Saint Mother Teresa, by serving and feeding the poorest of the poor of our area. In 1985, Bishop Stanley Ott invited Mother Teresa to bring some of the Sisters of the Missionaries of Charity to Baton Rouge in order to open a soup kitchen and a shelter for homeless women and children and possibly a maternity home for uh, unwed mothers in distress. Mother Teresa had fallen in love with St. Agnes Parish. She was very impressed by the traditional Catholicism, the reverence of the congregation at Mass, the devotion of the faithful, the whole atmosphere of, of prayer, service to the poor and needy, the charity that was being done for the poor of the neighborhood. And as she observed the poverty and the need of this location, Mother Teresa asked Bishop Stanley Ott if she could open her convent for the sisters and operate her mission here at St. Agnes. We are so privileged and honored to work in this beautiful parish to teach catechism here. Our sisters have taught catechism here since 19. 85 and operated the soup kitchen and the shelter for homeless women. I was looking at the statistics, more than 8,000 women, children, and infants have passed through the doors of our shelter and maternity home since 1985. And we, we ask all of you to join with us in doing something beautiful for God through St. Agnes Parish. God bless you. St. Agnes has always been a special place for me. Our family moved here in 1940, and so many events, liturgical events, spiritual events in my life have been here at St. Agnes. I was confirmed here in the parish. I made, said my first mass here, 15th anniversary, 25th anniversary, 40th anniversary, all here at St. Agnes. I find the parish is a very reverent and a prayerful place. When our sacristan opens the doors at five o'clock in the morning before the, the Monday through Friday, six o'clock mass, he finds people waiting at the door, waiting to go in to pray in the church an hour before mass begins. St. Agnes is a, a great respecter of tradition, both of course the kind the capital C in the church, but also small tradition, small T. And we are one place here in the diocese where we have the traditional mass, the Latin mass every Sunday. And uh, in the past, people have come miles to go to the Latin Mass. They couldn't find one in other places. They've come from Hammond, I think, even from North Louisiana at one time. It's a wonderful place for the parishioners and for the priests. As a parishioner of St. Agnes Catholic Church, I have enjoyed many, many blessings by being devoted to our Blessed Mother. These consecrations have emboldened the clergy and the laity to love God and neighbor more intentionally. Furthermore, this parish serves as an uh, affiliate site for the Arch Confraternity of Our Lady of Prompt Succor. This official honor was bestowed on the parish August 15, 1988, and provides a means for the faithful to obtain plenary indulgences I think this parish has a vibrant legacy of devotion to the Blessed Mother because of all of the different honors she's bestowed upon it. The transcendent liturgies, the sacramental life, 
the holy priests and fellow parishioners all have been used by God as spiritual therapeutic modalities for me personally, and I am forever grateful. In addition, the parish houses a presidium for the Legion of Mary, Our Lady of the Rosary. This expression of devotion to the Blessed Mother allows us to imitate her and serve her according to the spiritualities of St. Louis Marie de Montfort and Servant of God Frank Duff. I am Lucy Kader. I am 96 years old. I love my Catholic faith and heritage. Our eight children went to St. Agnes School and we love the Dominican Sisters. Our experience at St. Agnes School was wonderful. We were all like a big happy family. I was a rum mother. I helped with religion classes and I said the rosary with the children. All eight of our children received their first Holy Communion and Confirmation at St. Agnes. I still attend St. Agnes Church and I love it. About two years ago, Father Schraubel formed a building committee here at St. Agnes to convert the old gym, Father Spriggs Hall, into an office building and a youth recreation area and also improve the parking around St. Agnes. What we did was uh, got conceptual drawings for, from several of the architectural firms here in town and uh, the building committee uh, reviewed these and selected WHLC as an architectural firm. And the basis for that was that they kept most of the old gym building intact. Phase one of our project, which is the construction of a new concrete parking lot between the church buildings complete. And please, dear Lord, uh, bless our efforts in funding the rest of the project. Our capital campaign is important now, not only to take care of our buildings, but also to offer to our priest assistant and deacon a place to build their own offices and help them with their mission to take care of the needs of God's people and to fill this place with love, with grace, and with faith, and to respond to our new generation who are committed to continue living that faith in friendship with Christ and with the church that he gave us to love and to serve. On the direction of our pastor, we're embarking on a capital campaign to raise the funds needed to renovate our gym, repair our parking areas, and improve security on campus. These projects will improve St. Agnes's ability to form our youth, serve the poor, and minister charity to all. In reference to the under-resourced, these projects will facilitate the foundation of a new service to the poor called Bridges Out of Poverty. It's a program that helps the under-resourced take control of their lives through the mentorship of a friend. For over 100 years, St. Agnes has been a community of faith, a vibrant sign of the presence of Christ in Baton Rouge. Continuing in this tradition of service, we're asking our friends and parishioners to please generously consider sharing in our mission through your financial support and prayer. Part of my excitement about the capital campaign comes from providing a great place for the future of our children, our youth. Not only feeding them, but also helping them to grow and be spiritually protected so that they can have the best Catholic education possible. About a month or so ago when Mother Teresa's Mass was taking place at St. Agnes, uh, I, I saw Father Sharpell and asked him to pray for a special intention. Well, we started chatting and he asked me what I did and I said, well, I do fundraising. And he was delighted to hear that I do professional fundraising. So he wanted me to get involved with this campaign. And I told him I would. So I began to tell him a little bit about my family background. And I told him that years ago, when my family, my, my parents were still very young, and Monsignor Gillespie had asked Dad to help raise funds to help build the Brick Church. It's basically carrying on a legacy. I'm very happy to help Father Charbel and the people at St. Agnes. And as Mother Teresa would say, I'm looking forward to doing something beautiful for God. When I think about how people have made sacrificial gifts to build and maintain this parish, I am humbled because it is their gifts that have brought us to this day. Now it's our turn to continue this legacy for our new generation 
so we can hand on the faith to our children and to our grandchildren. So every donation, even the smallest one, is a true blessing and the cornerstone of our dream to achieve our goal, to achieve our vision, our project for this parish. St. Agnes has been a wonderful place for me. I have been here over 22 years. I've had many building projects here, right in this area, right here where you're looking. I turned the stairway and put this wall up, but it's always something, and it's always something that I'm eager to do. In the future, I hope that St. Agnes will be here for many, many more years to come. I don't know how many more years I'll have, but I'll always try to do my best. On the capital campaign, I'm hopeful that everything will go good and St. Agnes will prosper and we'll all be here for a long time to come to watch St. Agnes grow. And whatever I can do, I am more than willing to do it. Here at St. Agnes, we provide several important services to the people that live in this part of Baton Rouge. One of those services is our food pantry. Every month we feed right at 40 of the elderly and needy families that live immediately around us. Couple that with the efforts of the sisters who provide uh, homes and food for the homeless women and children. It's very important that we continue to do that. With our capital campaign, that will allow us to improve our facilities and therefore we'll be able to grow our parish and be able to provide that service and many other services here in this area. Today, God started a new path with us and He will achieve our dream. His providence will achieve it and your generosity and your hands will build it. I want to thank you all for your support of St. Agnes. Thank you for your generous hands and hearts. We are a shining parish in this city of Baton Rouge, and I am blessed to serve this holy place. Using St. Mother Teresa's words, thank you for making St. Agnes something beautiful for God. God bless you.